Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first JSP Solvit program using Eclipse IDE. So for that, the normal Eclipse IDE for Java developer won't work. So you need to download the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developer. So for that, open your favorite browser and just type download download Eclipse IDE for Java EE developer and click on this first link and here for newer version you just need to click here so this will show the newer versions and download so you can directly download it from here so just download this zip file and extract whatever you want so i have already extracted here so just click on this eclipse and eclipse so you need to click on this icon eclipse icon so just click on this so this will open the eclipse id for web developers so it's showing the welcome page so just click on close here and this will show the project explorer so if you can't see the project explorer so you can just go on this window and show view and just click on this project explorer so this will show the project explorer now what i need to do is just click on this create dynamic web project so click on create dynamic web project and give some name like hello world and put everything default and click on next next and also tick here generate web.xml and click finish so this has created the project hello world so if i just go inside here you can see source main and web app so inside here we will be creating the jsp file and inside here we will be creating the sorbets so here in web app if i just right click here and click on new and jsp file we can give some jsp file here and let me call it index.jsp and click on finish so this will create the index.jsp file and inside here we can give title like something hello and we can give some text here so i will be giving heading heading one and hello world so we are basically we will be printing this text into the browser so for running this program what i need to do is i just need to save this one so just click ctrl s to save and we need to configure our tomcat server so for that just click on this so if you are not able to see this server so just click on this window and show view and inside here you can just click on this server and you will be, you will be able to see this server so just click on this and at the top there you can find apache and just click on nine so tomcat 9 version 9 and click on next and you get directly the option to download and install so just click on download and install and i accept the terms and conditions just click on finish so i will be installing somewhere around okay maybe in downloads so just click on downloads or whatever you want and click the select folder and this will take some time to download here you can see the progress so it's saying that the name is in already used so we can just give some other name as well and click on next and add all so just click on this add all so this will show the program here and click on finish so this will configure our tomcat 9.0 server at localhost and to run this program what i need to do is just click on this hello world and right click and down here you can see run as and click on run on server and click on next so this will automatically choose the uh, server we have just configured and click on next and if i click on finish so this will run our program basically in this browser so if you are not getting directly into that browser so what you can do is click on this window and you can choose the browser wherever you want so if i just want to run inside my uh, eclipse so i can just click on internal web browser if i just run this program again so for that i need to stop my server so what i need to do is just click on this and if i just stop and again run it so this will run our program inside this eclipse id so if i just click on run so you can see here we have got this output inside our eclipse id so this is how you write your first jsp solvet program using eclipse id for web developers thank you so much for watching if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe my channel